Hi there to my credit union friends that are clicking on this video. Um, it's that time of year again. Can you believe it? We're talking about 2023 affiliation. It's crazy as I'm sitting here in my office in Lansing and fall has rolled in so fast and hard. Uh, beautiful time of year in our state. Um, so I've recorded this video a couple of times and honestly, my past recordings have been way too long. I don't want to bore you with a long video. I just, number one, want to thank you you so much for your 2022 engagement with the Michigan Credit Union League. Um, the support that we've had throughout the year, whether it be at our events, uh, education events or advocacy events, um, in person or virtual, um, reading our publications, liking our stuff on Facebook, listening to the podcasts, um, participating in your chapter meetings, um, coming out to our state GAC, coming out to our fall hike, coming to the CUNA GAC this year, so many different ways that we had engagement with all of you. And most of you listening to this video have touched one and most likely a lot of the things that I just mentioned. So a big, huge thank you um, on behalf of our entire team for your support and engagement with the Michigan Credit Union League. And when you engage with us, it shows me that you value what we're bringing and what we're doing. Um, we had an amazing um, board planning session. Um, it was more of a board strategic update um, in September. Um, we have such a wonderful Michigan Credit Union League board um, made up mainly of CEOs and credit union executives that are just super engaged in the industry, sharing lots of ideas and ways that we can support our credit unions. So we love hearing from them and from you throughout the year on how we can be better, how we can support you better. So please continue to reach out and make sure that you're letting us know um, what you value and what, what we provide and what, what you could use, uh, something that we're not doing that you would like to see going into 2023. Please reach out to me, reach out to your league rep, reach out to anyone on our team and we'd be happy and thrilled to talk to you about how we can even better support you. Um, it's been a busy year for us. You know, I know you hear that every year, but with midterm elections, with the redistricting, um, a lot's been going on at the advocacy front. Our team's been really uh, busy and engaged. You can read our advocacy update to see what's happening um, moment to moment at the state and federal level. Um, we really pride ourselves not only doing the traditional ways of advocating on your behalf, um, but also really digging deep into conversations with DIFFs, conversations with the NCUA, conversations with CFPB, um, really working more and more this year with our CDFI credit unions. Um, and, and helping you through what's turning into a frustrating process now. Um, lots of big things to talk about in DC when we were there. These threats to our industry, these threats to you, um, proposed changes in interchange, um, over-regulation of overdraft, um, you know, the, the hurdles I mentioned our CDFI credit unions are facing, um, combating these IRS reporting requirements, which were ridiculous. Um, lots of things that we're doing, um, either defensively or offensively for you at the state and federal level when we work with CUNA. So our team's been really busy. We've educated over 1,700 people this year. Um, in person or virtual at our events. So thank you for supporting us. We had a great um, annual convention in Detroit and next year we're back in Grand Rapids. Um, our executive summit was wonderful this year, um, a new format that we heard really positive things um, moving up to the Grand Hotel in Mackinac Island. Um, next year for our summit. And then a couple of new things, you know, we brought back the HR conference. Um, that was a wonderful event up in Traverse City. And for the first time ever, we're having a DEI conference to take place in November in Frankenmuth, um, Credit Unions for All. So hopefully you're tuned into those and attending um, and letting us know where, again, we can better support you on the education side. Communications, we know you're staying in touch. Please make sure you're following us on Facebook, um, getting the Michigan League Minute, listening to those podcasts, um, and staying um, up to date with what we are offering. Um, so we really doubled down on compliance efforts this year. Hopefully you noticed the cheers to compliance um, and the different work groups that we have on the compliance side, um, really listening to make sure that we had a full-time team member here at the league that can support you in compliance. Um, we know that it's a huge area of concern for our credit unions, whether you're large or small. So again, 
thank you so much for your engagement. Um, I could talk for hours about all of the different ways we engage, but um, you know what they are. You see them, you listen to them, and we really appreciate you so much. So as you're looking at your 2023 invoice, not too much new there. Um, you are going to see that we talk about Try a Credit Union now, because as you know, um, we are not using CU Link. We are Try a Credit Union. Totally revamp the awareness campaign. Um, so hopefully you've checked out those assets. We moved away from banking built for people to credit unions for real for your future. We know over half of our Michiganders belong to a credit union, but if you really pull back the curtain, how old are those members? We need to make sure that we're engaging those Gen Zers and younger millennials. Here I am preaching to the choir because that message is what we've heard from you where you need help. The awareness campaign tells every Michigander in a digital format and on our billboards why they should join and belong to a credit union. That mes message is crucial. And we get it out with a million dollar digital media buy. And we can only do that with your support to our awareness campaign. So please consider that on your invoice. You'll see um, further into the invoice an explanation of full fair share, what that means and the benefits that you get from that. Um, if you haven't been full fair share, please consider it this year. Um, it's, it's a great way to support um, awareness of this amazing industry that we are a part of. Um, you're also going to see for the first time, uh, we're asking you to contribute to the credit union house. Um, there's various levels of contribution that you'll see on your invoice. If you haven't been to the credit union house, it is literally a house that credit unions owned through leagues um, on Capitol Hill in D.C. We've hosted a lot of meetings there over the last few years. We inducted two people into the Hall of Leaders at Credit Union House this, house this fall. Um, it's a great resource. It's, it's a source of pride for our industry. Industry. We need to make sure that the credit union house stays there, um, sending that message in D.C. that credit unions matter, credit unions are important, inviting lawmakers to the credit union house to show that we always have a presence in D.C. is really important. So when you contribute to the credit union house, we send on your credit union name so you get that recognition and acknowledgement. Uh, we're just collecting the dollars on their behalf. So that's new to the invoice this year. You're also going to see, like always, our ASFM ask. That's the only corporate contribution we can have from a credit union. So please consider that. It's super important um, for our advocacy efforts to make sure that we have a stronger financial Michigan um, with dollars in that fund. So that's it in a nutshell. Take your time reviewing the invoice. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, shouldn't be too many surprises. We do have the CUNA dues in there. Those dues are sent to us from CUNA and we collect them on their behalf, um, but those are the dues amounts that they provided to us. So again, thank you so much for your engagement and support. We're really excited about 2023. Uh, we're looking forward to continued engagement with you and support um, of this amazing industry. Thanks so much.